college athletics have had a hard year dealing with COVID, but for high school athletes looking to get a scholarship, that process just got a little bit harder as the NCAA has suspended all in-person recruiting for Division I sports. I met with Texas Southern Athletics Compliance Director Larry Woods as he broke down the rule changes and how this would impact TSU coaches for each sport trying to recruit new players. Well, back in March, the pandemic started um, around March 12th. Um, from that point on, the NCAA has implemented a dead period for recruiting um, at the NCAA Division I level. What that means is there is no off-campus recruiting for any coaches, and recruit, meaning they can't go see recruits in person, watch them play or anything like that, or make any house visits or campus visits. As well, recruits are unable to come on our campus to view our campus, um, meet with coaches or anything like that during this period. I asked Mr. Woods, how does this hurt Texas Southern and other HBCUs in the process of trying to get incoming players? I, I feel like it hurts everybody at this point in time, um, especially the HBCU level because we're in, we don't have the resources um, that many of the other institutions have where they can still promote their product on social media. They have people that are designated, that's, that's their job to put their school and show what their campus and what their program has to offer socially and on the internet and different avenues of that. I also spoke with TSU head football coach Clarence McKinney as he explained how he will be selling the TSU football program and university as a whole. Well, I, I think the university sells itself. Uh, there's a lot of great tradition, great history. Uh, the education is second to none. Uh, and I think we also sell uh, access to the city of Houston and, and the ability to uh, go into the workforce uh, once guys leave here. Uh, so we, we've done a, a, a tremendous job. Our staff's done a tremendous job of recruiting guys. Um, we've, we're have we sitting at about 19 commitments for the 2021 class, and, and we've uh, had that uh, number of kids committed for quite some time. The goals for Coach McKinney remain the same as the TSU football program has started practicing this week. TSU's first home game won't be until March 20th, 2021, but their first Houston area game will be against Prairie View A&M March 6, 2021. I'm Isaiah Thornton for KTSU 2 News.